sure to check out that awesome demo racer. You want to get in on that, that's going to get you a chance to win a drone. Thank you so much, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day at RSA. See? Yeah, you're right. Add a few unique characters, any password, or pin. I like to, everybody throws an exclamation point in there, right? I say bring back the ampersand for
Let's see how we do on this one. All right, let's see where we got the round one. First question, what is the simplest way to stop brute force cyber attacks dead in their tracks? Is it shred all paperwork containing sensitive information? Maybe. Add a dead bolt lock to all entryways. That doesn't keep anybody out. Or add a few unique characters to any password or pin. I gave that one to you. What do you think? Is it weak encryption? Is it humans? Or is it short passwords? It's a trick question. It's actually cats. Cats is the weak. No, it actually is humans. That's right. This was written by a bot, you can tell. Humans are always the weakest link in cybersecurity, but there's things you can do about that. Now, another question for you. When using a VPN, what's the one thing that you cannot hide from ISPs, hackers, and the government? Is it... The fact that my clicker doesn't work. <laughs> the fact that you're using a VPN. Is it your identity or is it your data? A, B, or C? What do you think, guys? A, B, or C? Throw it out there. Yeah, A, A. In fact, if you use a VPN, you're very smart. Good job. Yeah, very right. And final question here. What organization is the most vulnerable to hacking? Is it charitable organizations with weak cybersecurity, black market websites with strong cybersecurity, or your business? See? Well, that's our next customer right there. Let's get that guy out of Yeah. Now, actually, it's the ones with the weak cybersecurity, but you're in the right place if you said C. If you said C, then you're definitely in the right place. All right, let's go ahead and switch over to our PowerPoint then, and we're going to get this show kicked off. There's still plenty of time, guys. Grab a seat over there. Don't be shy. Now, take the load off. You guys are going to be walking around all day. Rest your feet. Rest your weary bones. All right, welcome to the Palo Alto Networks booth, guys. We are so happy you're here with us today as we work to deliver what's next to organizations looking to secure transforming enterprises. Now, this last couple of years have been a real whirlwind of change, adaptation, and innovation, right? As quickly as enterprises transform, so do cybersecurity threats. You need a partner that can keep pace with you and watch your back so you can focus on innovation without putting your organization's security at risk. At Palo Alto Networks, we are committed to delivering best-in-class cybersecurity products and services rooted in industry-leading threat intelligence so that you can embrace technology with confidence and make each day safer than the one before. Our solutions integrate to enable the zero-trust enterprise, protecting all users, applications, and the enterprise infrastructure with complete visibility and state-of-the-art AI and automation. Ensuring preparedness and real-time resilience means adopting a proactive cybersecurity strategy based on a comprehensive zero-trust approach. We believe that every organization should be able to move their digital transformation forward with confidence. And we believe that we're the partner to help you do just that by delivering a complete portfolio of best-in-class product innovations. We're totally committed to our customers' success, whether they're responding to an incident, deploying our products, or partnering to deliver security outcomes through a world-class ecosystem of partners. Now, speaking of world-class strategies and solutions, I want to bring to the stage right now our global retail director talking about why cybersecurity fuels retail innovation. Please give a big round of applause for Ami. Thank you, Brian, and uh, good to have you all. So when you think about the retail vertical, whether you are a retailer, service a retailer, what is happening? First, we're seeing digital first. I mean, you all are consumers yourselves. The landscape has changed over the last several years. Buy in line, pick up in store, buy in line, pick up in store, over 50% of retailers are seeing their revenue via e-commerce channels. The security challenge? How do you look at cloud security with respect to that? How do you look at shift left, big D? Another thing we're seeing is the customer experience has changed. Consumers no longer want to just go inside that brick and mortar store. They want product when they want it, how they want it, where they want it. How do you have good network readiness? Think about SD-WAN and security together is another big theme. It's the store associate. Those of you who serve retailers know these are seasonal workers. That's where the threat is coming from, so you need to think about that threat landscape as well. Partners and acquisitions, right? 7-Eleven acquires Speedway. Kohl's is partnering with Reed Sephora. Ulta Beauty is partnering with Target. When you start merging companies together, you need to think about good SD-WAN, good security. And then finally, this one right here. Just two days ago, you see articles with Taco Bell's new store, which is a two-level store, completely automated. 
They're doing cameras, they're doing kiosks. You need to think about IoT security. So when you look at all the threat landscape, what are those threats? First, we're seeing skimming. We all know as consumers, we use credit card information, unique information. Skimming has almost gone to 50% over the last three years because of credentials. Secondly, it's not just uh, software skimming, it's physical skimmers. Those of retailers doing self-checkout, point of sale sheet machines can get compromised. So thinking about good endpoint protection. IoT, you're gonna hear a lot of people talk about IoT. But how are you doing that in conjunction with your security strategy today to do visibility and enforcement? One of the biggest things I hear from retail executives around the world is, I can't afford to add hardware, I can't afford to add a large team. How do I do device ID recognition? That's a big thing with things like cameras that are 57% vulnerable to attacks. Scanners, robots, all with IoT security. One of the future things we're seeing you know, with the Gen X, Gen Ys, the Millennials is Metaverse. How do you look at fraudulent identity with respect to that? And then the other two common themes we're seeing from a threat perspective is business email compromise, and then software supply chain. Those of you who have software teams have to protect against those vulnerabilities. So let's take an example, a company like Chipotle, well-known brand here in the US, quick service restaurant chain, they have multiple store locations, they made a pivot. They, you know, they know all, not only do they serve customers in the store, they have a mobile first strategy, they have kiosks, they have Uber Eats. When you look at every single one of their innovations, one of the reasons why they partnered with us was to get good network readiness, so they have SD-WAN, and they're also looking at security. That's the power of SASE to enable their innovation. You can even see the quote from them was, it's about the partnership because it's ease of deployment. Most of you know retail, it's thousands of locations. You don't have the big IT team, so you need to do stuff at scale. So when we look at what's happening in the retail landscape, where have things changed? Probably 10 years ago was about the store. Now it's internet. Now it's public facing cloud. Now it's distribution center. Now it's partners, now it's work from home. Every single one of these entities has security risk. So with Palo Alto, what we're doing is we're taking that comprehensive approach. Yes, we started off as a firewall company in the store. That's evolved. It could be hardware-based firewalls, software-based firewalls, firewall as a service, virtual firewalls. Secondly, it's cloud-based security. So when you think about retailers who are partnering with Amazon, Google, primarily Google and Microsoft, given the competitive landscape, cloud security is key. Then you need to think about um, the store edge. So if you're looking at making a decision at that branch, do you have a good, not just SD-WAN architecture, but are you doing stuff with security together, which is what we call SASE. And then finally, one of the big things we hear from retailers is too many alerts. How do I automate that at scale? So we have a platform called Vortex XOR that has endpoint security with automation. These are our pillars where we look at security. It's not a single point product, it's that comprehensive solution. So when we look at retail, and we look at, again, the use cases we know you're solving for, that frictionless customer experience where you have a good SASE strategy, SD-WAN, network security, the store associate is where we look at that zero trust architecture, supply chain, your distribution center where you're looking at camera scanners, things like IoT security, and then also putting the bow is regulatory compliance and automation. This is how we're looking at the retail vertical. We're very proud of the fact that we're in 42 out of the 50 top retailers around the world. And we're also doing a lot of work with the industry consortiums, NRF and RHISA. So that is in a nutshell of what we're seeing in the retail vertical. You know, we welcome any of you to stay, stay on board to learn more about the different platforms we support. But thank you for your time.